Hello everyone, Procrastinating Turtle here. I hope everyone had an interesting Pokemon Day which occurred yesterday as I'm recording this. What did you think about the Pokemon Presents? Personally, it was full of mixed feelings. If you have seen my prediction video, I said that the main thing I wanted to be announced was the Pokemon Crystal Remake. Unfortunately, that did not happen. For this year's Pokemon Presents, we got an announcement for this year's World Championship which will happen in Japan this August, the reveal of Pokemon TCG Classic, which, as I've said previously, I never really got into the TCG. This might be dating myself a little bit. I do have some of the original cards. I didn't have anyone to play the game with, so I never learned how to play TCG. I just more or less collected the cards. We were introduced to a new Netflix series, which is a completely different series than the one I talked about in my last video. We got an update on Pokemon Unite, which will see the addition of Zacian, but unfortunately there was no mention if Zamazenta would also be at it. There was... Also an update on Pokemon Cafe Remix, which will see the addition of the Paldean starters, Greninja will be getting a chef outfit, and revisits from past 5 star chefs. As many hoped for, we got the official release for Pokemon Sleep, which is coming this summer. Although, it kind of seems reminiscent of the island in Pokemon Sun and Moon, where you could put out jelly beans and hopefully attract Pokemon you could maybe get to join your party, but with a slight difference. Unfortunately for me, I'm not sure if I will get this. First of all, I have a completely disjointed sleep schedule, so I'm not sure what Pokemon will join my area. Additionally, this will be paired with Pokemon Go, and I haven't been able to get myself to join in on the game. Last, we did get the announcement many more or less expected, the announcement of Scarlet and Violet DLCs, Teal Mask which will be coming out in the fall, and Indigo Disc which will be coming out in the winter. Honestly, I kind of like how the turtle looks in the Indigo Disc, so I'm looking forward to that. If I had to take a guess, I think Teal Mask will be coming out August, maybe September at the latest, as I don't think they will want the DLCs to be released so close together. Indigo Disc, I think, would come out more around the holidays. The obvious choice would be their favorite of the third Friday in November, but I could see them pushing it out to release on the big sale of Friday, November 25th, or even more of a mid-December release for a holiday present. The Generation 2 and Generation 5 Paradox forms also got revealed. My poor Suicune. Not gonna lie, I'm not really a fan of Walking Wake's design. Even though Generation 1 was my introductory generation, Generation 2 is probably my favorite and most nostalgic for me. Suicune is my favorite of the Legendary Trio dogs, so this kind of hits me a bit in the wrong way. Of course, these are going to be version exclusive, so Walking Wake will be in Scarlet and Iron Leaves will be in Violet. And the DLCs will also be connected to Pokemon Go as well. For me, the Pokemon Presents was a little bit of a sweet and sour experience. I'm excited to see what else comes out about the DLCs, even though I have not played Scarlet or Violet yet. I'm almost done setting up a way to record my first playthrough of Scarlet, so maybe I'll post that later? I'm not sure yet. I was really looking forward to hopefully seeing at least something about Generation 2, as we have not seen anything since Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I am still holding out hope as, more than likely, there will be another Pokemon Presents coming this August. Maybe a Crystal remake will be announced then? But for now, it seems I will just replay the original Crystal game. Which I'm not mad about as that's probably one of my favorite games Pokemon has released to date. What from this year's Pokemon Presents are you looking forward to the most? Let me know down in the comment section below.